tutorial, we're going to walk through how to edit the layout of a Word document. Right here we have an open document that's been formatted and we're going to go through a few different layout options you can pick from. Uh, the very first thing you're going to do is come up to the home ribbon up here or to the ribbon up here and then you're going to go to page layout right here. And now you'll see all of these items change and this is where you can alter a lot of the different uh, default settings uh, for this particular Word document. One of the very first things you can do is change your margins. So right now I have it set so they're at a half margin all the way around, but if you want to do something a little bit more normal, you can pick out this top one and now you have margins that are one inch all the way around. Uh, you can also play around with it and do things like being mirrored, which means you'll have a a wider one on the inner side but normal on the out. Um, narrow is typically the most traditional way of doing it if you're wanting to fit a lot of content onto a single page. Uh, and then normal is the default word style. The other thing you can do is switch around your page orientation. So by default word will come with a, a portrait landscape which or a portrait um, uh, setting. Uh, but you can change it to landscape, which means that you can make it go uh, horizontally. And by doing that, just click orientation, then click landscape. And now you can see instead of it being up and down, now it goes from side to side. And that change affects all of the different pages in your document. So we'll switch it back to portrait. And you can also change the size. So you can change it from letter, legal. Uh, you can even go down and switch it up and make them uh, fit on an envelope. Uh, if you're trying to do this for, uh, for printing envelopes or labels or anything like that, then this is a nice way of doing it where you can print directly on the envelope itself. Uh, the other nice thing you can do uh, that a lot of people don't take advantage of is being able to add columns to the document. I'm going to shrink our margins down so we can see what happens on the page a little bit more. And then go over to columns. And in columns, what you can do is select how many you'd like on the page. By default, it comes in one column. So even though it doesn't seem like there are columns on this page, there actually is. It's one big one. Uh, the other thing you can do, though, is make it two columns. This is probably one of the more traditional things that you'll see or traditional setups. And then you also can do things like three, which shrinks it down even more. You don't see this quite as often. Uh, if you're going for something a little bit more creative and artistic, you can do something like having your uh, smaller column on the left and more content on the right. Uh, so this is, uh, if you're trying to do something where you have like images on the left hand side and then content over here, this is a great way of doing it. You can just, uh, you could do something like insert pictures on this side. Uh, I'll insert this one right here. And you could just simply keep on going right down the line and the content would just get moved all the way down. Um, it would go from here to the bottom and then go back up top and would just keep going. So uh, it, this is a really nice layout if you're trying to do something very visually oriented. Hit Control Z and get rid of that. Uh, and then go back to page layout. So you can see how to add columns and uh, if you wanted even more flexibility you can click on more columns and then you essentially go through this wizard and craft it however you want. You could say I want two columns and I want the width of this one to be 2.4 inches or 2.5 inches and then you have something like that. We'll go back to just one regular column. A helpful tool that Microsoft Word offers is being able to add line breaks uh, with one click of the button. So one thing you can do is say you want a line break here right after this third paragraph. Instead of having to hit enter several times in a row to get uh, it to the next page, all you have to do is come up to the page layout, click on breaks, and then click on next page. See instantly it takes all of the spaces necessary and dumps it right on that next page. You can hit delete, 
bring it up to the top of the page and you have that full space. So if this was your end of kind of your thought or if you wanted to end this page or chapter, if you're uh, formatting a book, then hit that button and it takes everything else to that very next page. I think you'll find, especially if you're working with large documents, uh, this can be a very handy tool that can save you a lot of time. So this is how to uh, use the page layout uh, functionalities and features in Microsoft Word. If you went through this tutorial, congratulations, you now know how to do it. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever.